We are on number four now. And on number four of this review, we have a story problem. Four times the sum of some number plus two is equal to eight times the number minus 20. Find the number. At the soul of algebra is when you're asked to find a number, or if you're just seeking out to find a number, we let x be that missing number. And then we try to figure out a relationship with the missing number with the information given to us. So 4 times the sum. When we have 4 times a sum, we're going to have 4 times something complicated. So a sum means that we are going to be adding two things. And so our anticipation is to know what and what are being added. Four times the sum of some number, well, x is the placeholder for this missing number, four times the sum of some number plus two. So what we are summing or adding is x and a two. Four times the sum of some number plus two is equal to so the symbol for is equal to is an equal symbol. 8 times the number minus 20. So 8 times the number minus 20 would translate in symbol form 8x minus 20. Find the number. So next, there's nothing special about solving this equation. So we just simplify the left. And then there's nothing to simplify on the right, and this left is now complete. And now it's a matter of putting the x terms on one side and the constants on the other. I'm going to go ahead. I know it's going to create a, um, oops, I meant to put negative 8x. It's, we're going to create a negative 4x. I got ahead of myself. But if I subtract 8x from both sides to move the x to the left, I typically keep the x's on the left. Some of you like to avoid the negative, and if you subtracted 4x, that would work too, of course. So we're going to have negative 4x, and then subtract 8 to put the constants over here on the right. So this x term is gone. Minus 20 minus 8 is minus 28. And now we just divide by negative 4, and two negatives divide positive. Positive 7 is the answer. The next story problem, and it, again, if you had time, you could go back, read the problem, and fill in your answer of 7 and see that it works. 4 times the sum of some number. Well, now we know that's 7 plus 2. Well, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 4 times that sum is 36. And we can check to see, is that equal to 8 times the number minus 20? Well, 8 times this mystery number, 8 times 7, 56. 56 minus 20 indeed is the same. So we're good. So we know our answer must be right. On number 5, it says the length of a rectangular room is 9 feet longer than twice the width. If the room's perimeter is 210, what are the room's dimensions? So I'm a visual learner. I like having a picture in front of me. And when it says the length is 9 feet longer than twice the width, length is 9 feet longer than, I should say longer than, longer than uh, twice the width. Twice width. So it asks what is what are the room's dimensions? So we're, we're, we don't know the length, nor do we know the width. We don't know length. We don't know width. Usually width is the vertical distance. So we don't, we don't know either one. But whenever you have a phrase or sentence that connects the unknowns, length and width, let x be the thing, the variable mentioned later. So we're going to begin this by letting x be the width. And then you can express the length, 
the length is, the length equals 9 feet longer than twice the width. So the length is going to be, and 9 feet longer than, technically the order gets switched, that we twice the width first and then go 9 feet longer. Addition is commutative, so it doesn't matter. 2x plus 9, 9 plus 2x, it doesn't matter. So what we have here is width is the x, and length is the 2x plus 9. And now the other part of the story says if the room's perimeter is 210. So when perimeter is 210, we can replace perimeter with twice the length plus twice the width. That's the formula for a perimeter of a rectangle. And so 2 times a length, that's 2x plus 9, plus 2 times a width, a width, that is x units long, has to total to 210. So that's our equation, which isn't too different from the other linear equations we've been solving. Oh, sorry, I wrote that off the camera. So let me go over that. So we know perimeter is 210. The perimeter formula is double your length plus double the width. Two times the length will be these two sides. When you take two times a width, there's one width, there's another width, so double width means we're counting both of these. So now we have the total perimeter, two lengths plus two widths. And length in terms of x is 2x plus 9. And two times a width, the width in terms of x is just exactly x. So we distribute and get 4x plus 18 plus 2x equals 210 and add the x terms, 6x plus 18 is 210. Subtract 18 in order for the x's to be on the left and the constants to be on the right. And finally, divide by 6 so that 192 divide by 6, and you can just use your calculators for this. It's going to be 32, and the units here, the, since the perimeter was given to us in feet, then we know we have to use feet for our units. So 32 is our x, 32 feet is our width, and now with this new information that x is 32, I can figure out that the length, the length, which is 2x plus 9, but I have this in new information just in that x is 32. So 2 times 32 is 64, and when you add 9 to 64, you get 73 feet for the length. Okay, and then we could check this by going double the width, would be 64, double the length is 146, and when you add that together, that should be the perimeter. And so the perimeter would be 210 feet, and, and that indeed is um, what the story gave the perimeter to be. So we're good.